it makes the worst case scenario really palpable. The worst case scenario that the president is a foreign agent uh, suddenly feels very palpable. Hey. Welcome to this week's Wacky Moments of Liberal Expression. This week, President Trump made more headlines on Wednesday night after he told ABC chief Democratic propagandist George Stephanopoulos that hypothetically he would listen to oppo research from a foreign country on his 2020 opponent. This is CNN Tonight. I'm Don Lemon. Here's our breaking news. And it's frankly it's outrageous. The president of the United States says he take dirt about political opponents from foreign governments. I don't, there's nothing wrong with listening. If somebody called, from a country, Norway, we have information on your opponent. Oh, I think I'd want to hear it. You want that I mean, this is the president saying on tape, the president who's been saying, no collusion, no collusion. <laughs> the Russians were trying to help me? Well, I, I didn't, that wasn't me. This is that same president saying, yes, I would, I would want to see information from a, a foreign power. Never mind the FBI director's opinion about that. I mean, it's, again, it's not like this is a hypothetical concept. Yeah, you know it's not hypothetical? The Hillary Clinton campaign hired a foreign national, Christopher Steele, to dig up a research on Trump using his Russian contacts. But during their almost two hours and 30 minutes of primetime coverage Wednesday night, CNN and MSNBC never mentioned yeah, what the Clinton yeah, campaign yeah, did. Yeah. It's so much more fun to complain about the answer to a hypothetical question than to talk about actual facts. <laughs> you know what's so interesting about this time of year? It's that the media is so in the tank for the Democrats that some of them freely admit it. Joe Scarborough this week, he's not a show host, but he's uh, acting advisor to Joe Biden. If you think I'm trying to send Biden a message with this column, you are correct. Too much is riding on next year's election for any Democratic candidate to shoot from the hit rhetorically. America's future will likely be left in the hands of which ever 70-something politician sticks most closely to the script that is handed to him. And the difference, Joe, between Joe Biden sticking to the script and Trump is that Joe Biden at least is intellectually connected. Well, you know, maybe he could have just plagiarized the speech. He does have a history of that. You know what really irks these biased mouthpieces is when real news gets in the way of the agenda that they're pushing. Don Lemon on Monday was upset that CNN actually spent time covering a fatal helicopter crash because, well, you know, CNN could have spent its time bashing Trump. This is CNN Tonight. I'm Don Lemon. Thank you so much for joining us. You know, it's been a busy day full of breaking news, and we're going to catch you up on all of it tonight. But you know what? There was some breaking news that took away, uh, you know, the spotlight off of a lot of things today. And you may not have seen what happened on Capitol Hill this afternoon. It was a moment that really brought home the uncanny parallels between the investigations of this president and Watergate. And nobody knows that better than John Dean, of course. Yeah, John Dean. He's a paid CNN commentator and he's an author of a book, Worse Than Watergate. Mr. Dean, how many American presidents have you accused of being Richard Nixon? <laughs> I actually wrote a book about Mr. Bush and Mr. Cheney with the title Worse Than Watergate. So, so, so. Well, there's not too many Republicans in Dean's world who aren't involved in something worse than Watergate. You know, luckily he didn't write a book called Worse Than Yellow Journalism. Check out the breaking news banner on CNN on Tuesday morning as they talk about Donald Trump and Joe Biden holding rallies in Iowa later that day. I just read you where Joe Biden, it's not even, you know, in the, it's in the first page. She doesn't wait to drop the Obama bomb here. One of my proudest moments in the White House was when President Obama and I mm. led the rescue of the American auto industry. Joe's going to drop the Obama bomb. That'll eviscerate Trump. She doesn't wait to drop the Obama bomb. Here. Yeah, not a complete propaganda machine there. Let's wrap things up on a good note. Kellyanne Conway just owned MSNBC this week over the never-ending liberal discussion of the Mueller report. I would point you back to when the Mueller report first came out, Kristen. Uh, journalists like you were asking us, well, when will you move on? How long will you, will you keep on sort of preening and saying there's nothing in the Mueller report uh, other than what we've already known? And yet it's them who are in Congress who are trying to do a do-over of a report that is the authoritative, definitive, conclusive, and final word. He cites many things in his report, including, including that there was no collusion, despite the fact that your network said it many times every single day for many years, respectfully. Just to be clear, no one here ever came to any determination uh, about what may or may not have been in the Mueller report. Really? Yeah, you know, MSNBC never made any determinations of what could be in the Mueller report before it came out. Sure about that? 
there's obviously something that we all have been talking about for months that he Russians have on Donald Trump, whether it's related to okay. money or sex, I don't know, or both. That may be something that turns the key in the Russia probe, is figuring out why this president is so deferential to Putin and to Russia, and if there is some sort of compromise that they have on him. If there it is makes the worst case scenario really palpable. The worst case scenario that the president is a foreign agent uh, suddenly feels very palpable. Yeah, reporting on your feels. Good judgment there, MSNBC. On that note, I feel you're going to have a great weekend. At least I hope so. I'm Eric Schneider for MRC TV. We'll see you again next week with more media wackiness.